All right, what we have here is the 1986 Ford F-350, which has what I believe is a 7.3 diesel in it. Um, it looked like it had a 6.9 in there before, but they had swapped it out, judging by uh, the accessories, the um, the way it's mounted. I, I can't remember exactly what it was. But the problem I'm having is I'm not getting any fuel. Um, so I thought the fuel pump was bad and my first, I've already replaced all the o-rings on the injector, uh, on top of the injectors and the return lines and all that. So then we're up to that factory water separator which I've taken out and what I was going to do was use this Carter pump here and Put the pump in that spot and convert this over to uh, to electric. So this is a P four sixty one zero one HP, which I had actually bought for my Cummins, um, but ended up not needing it. So I put it in there, I test fit it, uh, put some test lines to it, and it was not sucking the fuel out of the tank. So then I went down to the tank, verified I was actually getting fuel coming out of it, which I was. And now what we're doing is we're going to mount the pump underneath here. So the plastic line had already been spliced um, by someone with this, with this hose. So what I decided to do was mm -hmm. go from the factory... Let me turn the flash on here. All right, so we're gonna go from the factory uh, fuel tank selector valve. Okay, the output of that going into this um, Mr. Gasket fuel filter here, clear one, so I know I can see what kind of trash is getting in my tank, and then. I've modified the body to accept the bracket for the pump and I put this ball valve in there as a fuel uh, shut off so then our pump is going to mount right here right screw into the ball valve and then we'll snake the line back to the front through the factory lines up to the factory water separator and I bought another uh, fuel filter um, from a Kubota that we're going to mount right here that has a clear bowl so we can do the inspection and then it uses the factory line to go back to our factory pump on the motor which I may bypass later um, and then it goes to the filter housing so that's it for now I'll give you an update when I'm complete